Where have you been all my life, you beautiful b- Avatar has a friendly statement. My own brutal and honest opinions as always. This is new to me. Hello world, Steven Michael Zach here. And yes, like I said at the beginning, I am very excited to be the owner of a brand new Glow Para Snap. Um, spoiler alert. Uh, this thing is really nice. Now, it did cost me with the heavy duty egg crate grid. Uh, it did cost me about $280. However, at the time of the recording of this video, uh, these pair of snaps, the 44 inch is on sale for 180. It's Glow, it's the Adorama brand. Uh, so they have, Adorama has a lot of sales. So definitely go check that out and buy this one. It's on sale for 180 bucks. Um, but I first saw these at Image USA this year, uh, which is the largest photographer's convention. It just happened to be in my backyard. Uh, so I went this year and I did check out the SMD, I think it's SMDL version. Um, I'll put on the screen which version I was looking at. And while those were much lighter material uh, and weren't as hard to open as this one, they, uh, they were also more expensive. Uh, for the price of their non-pro version, which means you can't remove the diffusion on those, uh, I bought the, both of these. And again, when this goes on sale, it'll be even cheaper. So, as always, I did buy this with my own money, so these are going to be my own brutal and honest opinions as always. So, let's take a look at what comes inside the box. Okay, so first off, let's take a look at the bag here. Uh, the bag is nothing to write home from. Uh, be careful you don't snag this with anything heavy because uh, the bag is not the best. Uh, so just be careful that you don't uh, rub anything against, it, against this or it doesn't snag. Uh, you do have a handle. Uh, it feels like I can easily tear away the handle. So again, not a great case, but it works. Inside, you're going to get your Bowens mount or whichever mount you choose. You're going to, and it does have this really annoying strap right here. Uh, that's kind of annoying, kind of gets in the way. And there's really no way to take it off. Uh, but inside you're going to get the Paris Snap itself. And you're going to get the inner and outer diffusion. I would highly recommend keeping these bags. Uh, thank you very much for uh, giving us a Ziploc type bag, uh, not a cheap bag that'll tear. Uh, but I highly recommend keeping all the bags uh, just so that you could store this stuff better. And we pull this open, and there we go. That is it. Setting this thing up is super easy. You want to take your mount, whichever one you buy. I bought the Bowens mount. You want to go ahead and just flip this open, slide it in, lock it, and then all you have to do is take this thing right here, take it by the two, uh, by the two things here, and just kind of, well, first you want to un unvelcro that. And you just pull that up like so, get your thumb there and snap it into place. And it is just that simple. Uh, yes, it is the 44 inch, it is huge. And then to uh, undo this, all you have to do is grab it here and push the unlock button and it unlocks. It folds up very simply. Then you just take your Velcro, which is okay. Again, it's something I could, if with, with some force I could rip off but it's just functional there and that's it it is so easy to put this on a light it is amazing uh, now let's check out the uh the diffusion and the ballast and the grid okay so here we are with the aperture lightstorm 60d and i do have the bowens mount attachment and it is very easy to do this you just want to line this up here like so and click that in and then all we have to do is go ahead and get behind this here. I like to grab it by the bottom and the top. First we unvelcro it. I seem to always forget that step. Grab it by the bottom back here, from the top, lift, bring up your hands, and there you go. <laughs> it is just that simple. Uh, very, very cool, very easy to do. Gone are now the days we have to pull up each individual rod like you do on the apertures. Uh, I definitely will be switching to this. And uh, let's take a look at the inside here. First off, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what comes in here. And I will say that this feels like a, almost like shower curtain material. Um, it is uh, maybe half cloth maybe, uh, but it does have these lovely, 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 lovely snaps here, which is very, very nice. 
So we'll just go around the edge here and snap this in like so. And they make this very, very easy. The snaps feel very, very strong. So, and there aren't too many of them. I like this, I like snaps better than Velcro. Uh, you just have to be careful that you don't accidentally pull on the snaps and, and, and rip them apart. Uh, but these feel very, very premium. So a cool thing is you could actually snap the uh, elastic off from the diffusion here. So if these wear out, you definitely, or break or anything happens to them, they are replaceable. And you can just simply snap it in here. It is very, very well made. Now, one thing I will say is it is a bit hard to get apart. Uh, there's nothing to really grab it by, uh, which is why they probably made it this way. So you could actually just separate it from there and actually leave these in. Uh, which I will most likely do. Although you can leave that all the diffusion and everything in uh, when you close this up, that's what it's meant for. So there we go. And now we will take the main guy here, <laughs> which does have some very nice Velcro. And I do like the fact that it does have, so give you sort of a guideline as to where to put the, uh, the diffusion in the corners here. And you'll want to make sure that you get it along the back here so that you have room for the grid. But it just simply goes on like so. And excuse me, I'm going to block the camera for a minute because this thing is quite huge. Just go around and this goes on very easily. Uh, so really impressed with the way that this goes on. Take some adjustment here. There we go. And we are done. So very, very, very nice. Now it is uh, a little bit baggy and loose and that's something I am noticing. Um, so that is something to be aware of. Now, I think it's that way because uh, they want you to be able to close this with, the, uh, with this thing actually inside it. So it does have a little bit of give here. Um, so whether that's going to uh, hurt the image or not, I am not sure, uh, but just know that uh, it's a little baggy there. Should be fine. Okay, so here we are, and I accidentally grabbed one of the Ds instead of one of the Xs, so uh, this is only going to be 5600 Kelvin, but let's go ahead and jack this up to, here is, oh, 71%. Uh, and as you can see, this diffuses really nicely. And let's actually go ahead and lift this up, like so, like we're going to really do this, and let's tilt this down. And as you can see, the Lightstorm has absolutely no problem with this. Now, as you can see, uh, this diffuses really, really well. It gives you a very nice light diffusion. Granted, I do only have a 60 watt in here. Let's bump it up a little bit more. Let's bump it all the way. And that's at 100%. And as you can see, it is still diffusing quite nicely. Um, very, very nice. Very cool. Let's go ahead and throw on the grid here. And the grid just attaches very simply. Now you do get a very nice case with the grid. And again, you get a very nice plastic bag to also put in to keep it all very compact. And let's go ahead and throw on the grid here. And there is, I'm guessing the, and the grid kind of unfolds like so. And we kind of put the grid As in. you can see, this controls the light quite nicely. Uh, the grid works very, very well. Um, so very happy with the grid and the way that it is working and the way that it cuts down the light. Now, yes, you can fold this up with the grid in. I would prefer to take out the grid. That is just me because I'm not always going to need the grid. But the grid comes out very, very easily, uh, which is very cool. You just rip it out actually takes longer to put on than it does to put to, to put in. And then you can just fold up the grid uh, and you just kind of follow the <laughs> follow the way that it was folded and you can put it back in the plastic bag when you're done and put it back in its case. And of course the best part about this is when you are done you can leave the diffusion in. You can go ahead and pull this and it closes up very simply like that. Uh, let's go ahead and shut that off. Very, very easily does that. Then you can go here and release it. You can put this inside like so. Tuck that away. You grab the 
little band here and wrap it around so that it holds it. Slide this in the bag and you are good to go. Gone, like I said, are the days when you have to pull each individual rod and lock them. And it's always a problem to try to pull those up because they're always very, very tight. Uh, and you don't have to remove your diffusion, which is awesome. Yes, I believe you can keep the grid on. I wouldn't, that's just a personal preference. But uh, there you go, there you have it. Okay, so let's talk pros and cons here. Now, the only cons I can see with this is one, the bag is not very strong. It is this, uh, it's fairly decent uh, nylon. Uh, I do not like this strap at the top here. Uh, not really sure why it's here, uh, but it does stop me from putting things in. I most likely will cut it off if it starts to really annoy me or take a, uh, take a little tool and, and take this off. Um, I guess it's made for a hand to be a handle or to slide on to maybe like a cart or something. Uh, but it is super duper annoying. Uh, wish this were not here. Uh, and again, it is, while it is strong nylon, it is this nylon-y material that can get snagged on something and easily rip. Uh, so I don't expect this to last uh, with the amount of travel and hardcore use that I'm going to use it with. So I may have to find like a tripod bag or something else to store this in. Um, and again, these handles feel like I could just tear them right off. Uh, they're fine uh, if I give it, but if I just really yank hard with, with, with a little bit of effort, it'll rip. But not crazy about the case, but everything else on this is absolutely beautiful. I love the material that this, yes, it's a heavier material, but I love it. I love the fact that I no longer have to take my diffusion off. It's got this beautiful, uh, gold, uh, this beautiful metallic inside that actually helps. Uh, you'll go on the web, go on the Adorama, Adorama website and take a look at it. It actually helps the light spread evenly um, and very, very nicely. It looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I love the way that this changer works. Say you want to go to speed mount or any other kind of mount, you just pull this out. Uh, one thing I will say is this is aluminum, uh, and as you can see, it already has dented. Um, so I really wish this were a little bit uh, better quality metal, but it's fine. It works. Uh, just be careful. Uh, but everything here works beautifully well. The egg crate grid is wonderful. Everything goes on quite nicely. Uh, they give you a little uh, bagginess in the diffusion, and that is so you can push it in and fold it in. Because uh, if it were too tight, you wouldn't be able to close it and fold it in. Uh, so all in all, very nice. And it even fit on the Lightstorm 60D. Uh, so it went on when I put the Bowens mount on the uh, aperture light here. Uh, it had absolutely no problems. One, because there are no metal rods in here, there's not a heavy thing where you have to snap things into place. Um, this thing is super duper light, super travelable. Uh, you just throw this in a bag, in a suitcase, well, probably not in a suitcase, but you could throw this in your bag or take this with you uh, and you shouldn't really have any problems. Uh, I really love this thing. This is a huge game changer. This makes setting up my light so much faster and I cannot recommend these uh, enough. They do make them, I believe, in 33 and 44. Uh, if you want to replace your Aperture uh, Light Dome Mini 2, this is an amazing, amazing, amazing replacement. Uh, it is slightly smaller, but man, is it a time saver. So those are my thoughts, but I want to know yours. So leave your questions and comments in the notes below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to mash the bell button to be notified when we drop a brand new video. And feel free to use the links below as it helps out the channel. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this is new to me.